Uh, my name is Dr. Michelle Villagran and I work for San Jose State University. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Information, the iSchool. I'm a former practitioner, so I was a former law librarian. Um, so I worked in law firms, corporate world, before that I did consulting, and I also have a consulting firm, so I do a lot of work with diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. I teach uh, two classes. One is a core course, um, Info 200, Information Communities, and then the other one is a course that I developed on cultural competence for information professionals. Cultural competence is important for the library profession as a whole, regardless if you're in a public library, an academic, corporate um, setting, etc. Because we live in a globalized world. So the moment you step foot in any organization, there's diversity amongst us, across the board. It could be a specific population like LGBTQIA+, it could be, again, generational, for example. But thinking about how we can interact with one another and come to our end goal to be successful. The quality of students at San Jose State in the iSchool program are just exceptional. High quality, high work ethic, um, very engaged, um, very curious. They want to learn more and how they can absorb as much in the program so then they can take that into the workplace. So for prospective students that are interested in pursuing a library degree or library and information science degree, you need to really evaluate where you're at because it's different for everyone. Everyone has unique situations. So of course, considering cost, location, of course, our program is 100% online. So you can do it from anywhere, anywhere in the world, as long as you have reliable internet and access to you know, the technologies and tools you need. Um, look at the quality of the instructors. Find out who they are, what they've been doing. Is there a match with what you're looking for? So for example, if you want to be uh, work in a special library or maybe in archives or records management, is there a fit with that program? And then you could even look at graduation rates, like how many students have gone through the program, how many have graduated. And additionally, I would say, because diversity is so important, what are they doing? Are there events? Are they at conferences? What does the representation look like? Not only a faculty, but of alumni that have gone through the program. You can take the skills that you learn in a master's of library and information science program. So from San Jose, from the iSchool, you can take those skills and they transition nicely into the, the, the world. Maybe your title isn't librarian. Maybe you're a data scientist. You're a competitive intelligence researcher. You're an analyst. A lot of those skills that translate directly to what you'll learn in your, your degree. So there's a bunch of opportunities out there. Of course, there's public libraries if you want to go traditional route, universities. Um, I'm always looking at corporate and special libraries because I think there's unique opportunities, especially when we get into digitization, data analytics, data science, all these other niche areas, I would say. Um, where there are opportunities where they need you as a prospective student, they need you and those skills. And um, again, you might not be entitled a librarian, but that's what you're doing.